guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some Diamond Dynasty here on the channel. We're going to play some ranked seasons. I haven't done it yet this season. This is the team I have currently with just playing offline. we got Byron Buxton, of course, the Player of the Month card. Justin Turner, I love that card. Don't like his fielding at second base, but he's still a beast. Jordan Alvarez, I rake with that card in left field. Vladimir Guerrero, again, I rake with that card as well. Larry Doby's all right. Piazza's all right. Hank Aaron's all right. Tim Anderson's all right as well. And then off the bench, Dominic Smith, Fran Mill Reyes, and Carlos Stan. Shohei Otani and Cody Bellinger. This is my starting pitching. Corbin Burns, of course, player of the month. Bob Gibson, Patrick Corbin, Jesus Lozardo, and Carlos Rondon. The bullpen's not great. Please, Zach Miller, Pomeranz, Kimbrel Jansen, Matt Barnes, um, Houston Street, and Mariano Rivera. Not great, but we're hopping into ranked seasons for the very first time. We're going to be playing some guys who aren't very good. I, I don't like to put it that way, but these people usually aren't going to be that good in spring training. This guy's 0-1. I'm making my debut. We're the Arizona Hot Shots. Shout out to the Alliance of American Football. But yeah, let's get into this one. This guy's got Joe Musgrove on the mound, and yeah, you can see he's not that great. I mean, that's just a routine one hop single and this guy misses it so we've got Justin Turner rounding around third he's gonna be at third I don't know what the throw is here he's gonna go all the way home <laughs> it's a little league home run I mean welcome to spring training Diamond Dynasty not that good of opponents Larry Doby comes up on the empty count he's gonna blast that one in deep left field and that ball is gonna be way up and way out of here Larry Doby takes it opposite field and we are gonna take a three to nothing lead here and we're just in the bottom of the first inning so if this guy sticks around Maybe this will be a mercy, but we will see. Byron Buxton's now up in the second inning. He's just going to bounce one to second base, but he's got 99 speed, and he's got a bronze at second base, our opponent. And yeah, Buxton's going to leg that one out, and it scores another run. On to the bottom of the third, Jordan Alvarez in the game. We're going to have some lag here, but he's going to hit one into left field. So we got a base runner on here to stop the bottom of the third inning. By the way, this guy, I don't think he's got a base hit. Our opponent, he might have gotten a bunt single, but that's it. And yeah, Larry Doby again. I didn't know he had that much opposite field power. Larry Doby in the deep left field, way up and way out of here. We take a six to nothing lead, 387 feet for Doby. And is he gonna quit? Yeah, okay, hit the pause menu. Let's see what happens. You make me wait the three minutes? No, he's up on out of here. We win the first game just like that. Pretty easy against a gold pitcher. That's what we do around here. Give me those 60 points off the bat. All right, game two here. We're taking on Steven Strasburg on the bump. This guy does have a better team, and we're at Fenway. So let's see his record right here on the screen. This guy is, come on, show it to me. All right, he's one and four. So again, it should be another easy game here. Let's see what happens. We're in the second inning, still zero zeros. Vladimir Guerrero's going to turn a fastball deep into center field. Yeah, you can kiss that one goodbye. Vladimir Guerrero. Guerrero Jr. over the monster. Give him the home run to give us a 1-0 lead. 416 feet for Vladdy. And dude, stop. Friendly quit? Get out of here, bro. I'm not accepting the friendly quit. Are we just going to move on or what are we doing? Is he going to quit? Just like that. I mean, some of these guys, if you beat these dudes in spring trading the lower divisions, hit one home run in the first two innings, the game's over. So we're moving on to game three. I'm taking on like an all-bronze team. In Texas, I, I don't know why I got matched up with this guy. Let's see his record as well. It will be 2-1. and one. Okay, so the bronze team is 2-1 and one so far. Might be a closer game. I don't know. We're in the second inning again, and oh my goodness. Vladimir Guerrero, perfect, perfect in an ape left field. That card is so damn good. 410 feet for Vladdy. We take a 1-0 lead. Now Larry Doby comes up, and he rips one in the right field as well. So Doby's an absolute monster. Still batting 1,000 for me as well. And now we get Mike Piazza up on the OO -O and Piazza. Perfect, perfect. No doubt about it. The first inning boss right there. There goes Piazza. And we take a 3-0 lead. 427 feet for him. And now we've got a runner on second with one out for our pitcher, Patrick Corbin. And Corbin turns on a fastball or a cutter into right field. I think this guy's just given up. He's really not doing anything because Patrick Corbin just got a RBI, maybe a triple. Okay, he's going to go back to second here. We're going to get thrown out probably eventually here in the rundown. Come on now, just tag me out. He's got eight speed. Come on. There we go. All right, we take a 4 nothing lead though. I'll take it. We're now pitching now with Patrick Corbin. But he's got guys such as Brian Goodwin batting. I mean, 69 miles an hour curveball for Corbin. It's nasty, and that's going to do it for this guy. He's up on out of here as well. Adios, amigo. We are now, what, 3-0 is it? 
on the next game we go i guess we're gonna take on another opponent he's got to nelson lamette on the mound we are playing here at the spring trading field okay let's see his record as well what will it be for our opponent he is three and one san francisco jordans okay let's see what happens here so immediately he basically pauses i mean i think we, he got two outs to start the game so good for him but now with jordan alvarez at the plate just pauses the game and he goes over his time limit I'm not gonna gift you extra time, bro. I'm, I'm out of here. I'll take the win. I don't care. It's gonna save me time. See you later on a World Series. Um, I, mean, I guess that's the grind eventually. And now we get another game here. We're taking on Clayton Kershaw. This is an actual team. He's got Kenny Lofton. You can see it's pretty obvious this dude bought his entire team because he's got more than one first inning boss. He's four and eight, so he's not very good at the game. I've got Corbin Burns on the mound, so it should be an interesting game right here. And okay, first batter for me, Byron Buxton off of Clayton Kershaw to the right center. He gets out. Okay, Byron Buxton with the leadoff home run. We are up one to nothing. Now Jordan Alvarez comes up. Lefty, lefty. Alvarez turns on the fastball to right field. It's off the pole. It gets out as Jordan Alvarez gives me a two to nothing lead. We will now pitch now with Corbin Burns and he can't hit the ball. I mean, it's that simple. Strike out of Babe Ruth, strike out of Paul DeYoung. We are dealing early with the man himself, Corbin Burns. Onto the bottom of the second. Hank Aaron's at the plate. Hank Aaron rips a fastball into center field. That ball gets down as well. That card's really nice. The 42 series, Hank Aaron, he is a damn monster. So a leadoff single for us. Tim Anderson comes up to the plate on the OO. And Tim Anderson says, see you later, baseball. Oh my goodness, 4 nothing lead off of that. Clayton Kershaw, pretty easy to time. Uh, and we're going to take that 4 nothing lead, 418 feet. For Anderson, we're on the sixth inning. This guy still can't hit. Curveball strikes at Otani. Kenny Lofton, this is all he tries to do with Lofton. He tries to bunt because he can't do anything else with Kenny Lofton. So he's out right there. He actually swings the bat with Byron Buxton. The previous two at-bats with Buxton, he actually tried to bunt again. It didn't work out for him earlier in this at-bat. He tried to swing, and he's out. So we're on the bottom of the sixth inning. We're up by four. He's got Nick Anderson on the hill and Vladimir Guerrero in the right field. Opposite field. Bomb for Vladdy. It gives us a five to nothing lead. And we're still in the sixth inning, 362 feet for Guerrero. We're actually up by four now because he did hit a home run, but we are still up by these four runs, of course. And Kenley Jansen's in here for the save. Two strike guts to start the top of the ninth. And now Babe Ruth's up with the one, two swing and a miss on the cutter way above his head. And that does it for this game. Our first game, we actually went nine innings in and we win five to one. So a good game to get under your belt, going the full nine. And now we're gonna play another one. We're taking on Max Scherzer, the San Francisco Rams, another Pretty solid team. He's got some prestige guys or parallel cards, as they call it now in this year's game. He's got some good cards, so should be an interesting game. He's 4-1, and one, so yeah, maybe a real, like, first tough opponent. We're back at home. We've got Justin Turner at the plate against Max Scherzer. Perfect, perfect Turner. Oh, man, he turns on. I believe it was a fastball. Yeah, down and in. There it goes. Justin Turner, his swing is so easy to time. The big leg kick, so easy. We're on the bottom of the second. Bob Gibson's hitting for us, and he's getting hits off of Max Scherzer as well. Sure, Bob Gibson is going to get a two-out base. Not keeping that first for Byron Buxton on the 1-0 count. And Buxton turns on a fastball. Stay fair for me. Oh, yeah, that's way fair. Oh, my goodness. Byron Buxton with the two-out home run. We go up by a score of three to nothing. Now, on to the bottom of the fourth we go. Hank Aaron's hitting again, and Aaron is going to turn on the slider. High breaking slider over the middle of the plate. Hank Aaron's going to take that ball out of the park. It's pretty easy out here. And this guy was 4 and 1. Probably going to be 4 and 2. We're up 4 nothing here. Bob Gibson's still pitching. Pudge Rodriguez is going to hit that ball right back to Gibson. What a play off the mound. Okay. Two down here in the inning. Now up is Byron Buxton. He's got him batting seventh. This is the lightning card. Why is everyone trying to bunt with him? It doesn't work. Just pitch high and in, by the way, if a guy's trying to bunt you or just give him curveballs up. That does it. He quits after five. Sure. Doesn't want any more. I don't blame him. He was getting his ass kicked. Okay, we're going to play another one here. We're going to be playing um, Corbin Burns. See, this is actually interesting. This guy's got a lot of very good players. He's got a really good pitcher. Definitely the toughest pitcher we've seen online so far. I've only got Patrick Corbin, so this could be very interesting. He's 5-0 and as well. I'm 6-0. and Should be a fun game, but this is what I found out. This dude can't hit a breaking pitch. Look at this. He's striking out like on every... Look at this. Another slider away. He swings way too early. He can't time it. He can't time it. Curveball. Swing and a miss. Like... <laughs> I don't know how you have such a good team. You've passed all the missions to get these players strike out. Is it just Patrick Corbin? Is Patrick Corbin a glitch? Is he a glitch? Because that's a terrible swing. 67 miles an hour on the curveball, by the way. He's sitting fastball, but he can't adjust to anything else. He tries to bunt. Strikeout. You can't do it. Patrick Corbin's dealing, guys. 
I mean, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, we're gonna try to get it. Top of the order for him. Byron Buxton, you get another chance. Strikeout, curveball. He can't hit it. I don't know what's going on here. Max Muncy, give me another one. He hasn't put the ball in play. Paul DeYoung, 0-2 count. Can't hit it. What are we doing? Like, how are you 5-0? and I don't understand. Strikeout. By the way, I still haven't scored, so I can't say anything, but... Dude, I've been hitting the ball so hard. It's not going anywhere. Let's go to the top of the sixth inning. Let's try to score some runs. Use Mero Petit's on the mound. Yeah, we got Corbin Birds out of there. And there goes Jordan Alvarez. Turn that ball in right field. And that ball gets out of here. We are up one to nothing. Yeah, I was just hitting the ball really hard off of Burns. Just wasn't getting any results. But at least I wasn't like this guy. Striking out 15 times. And now we're in the top of the seventh inning. Tim Harrison's get that ball in the right field. Oh, that ball is going to get down. We had a runner on first. And that ball is going to roll for a very long time. Hank Aaron's going to round third to home. Tim Aaron's Anderson is right behind him. He throws straight to home. I don't get how this guy was a 5-0 player. But we're up 3-0 now. And we're in the top of the seventh inning. And back to this. Corbin dealing. And oh, he puts the ball into play. 77 mile an hour changeup. And he takes it out of here. Okay. I don't know where that came from. Thankfully, we have that run cushion. And it's a two-run game again. Sure, okay. Let's see if we can get back on track here. And now he can't hit a high fastball. Show him. Tani comes up on the one, two. Swing and a miss on the slider down. He swings at everything. And yeah, we're just racking up the strikeouts. We're going to get this prestige on Patrick Corbin in this game, probably. Hell, I might get to level five. I don't know. I mean, we're just, oh my goodness. I was going to say we're dealing, but Vladdy actually hits the ball into play. We're going to get it out, though. It's a softly hit ball to short. Let's now go on to the top of the eighth inning. We've got runners on first and second here for Mike Piazza. That sinker's right up the middle, and we're going to turn on that ball and put it in a right center field, and that will play a run. We're going to send the runner to second as well, and we're going to go up by a score of four to one, just like that. Let's now go on to the top of the ninth inning. Still up by three. Shohei Otani at the plate. And Otani's going to turn on one. Pinch hitting. Shohei Otani turns on a splitter in the right field. That ball gets up and it's out of here. We go up by a score of 6-1 to one here in the top of the ninth. Jordan Alvarez now got a runner on second base. He's going to take that fastball opposite field. I think that ball's out as well. Yes, it is. We go up by a score of 8-1. to one And... What's going on here? I mean, you can see in the bottom right, like, he's rounding the bases. He's on second right now. He goes home. Okay, and he quit. Like, it's tough to get through games here because everyone's just quitting out. Making everyone rage quit in this game, folks. And that's going to do it for our first episode here of Ranked Seasons. If you want to see more here on the channel, hey, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And also, make sure to leave a like. Also, leave a comment. I'm, hey, I have fun playing Diamond Dynasty. I play this a lot more than anything else on this game. I don't really play right of the show. I play Diamond Dynasty all the damn time. So, there's that. Corbin's been paralleled. Tim Harrison's been paralleled as well. Pretty damn cool. Thank y'all for watching, folks. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more. And Mamba. Forever.